Hi everyone, welcome to Cricket How To and today I am going to show you how to remove old tape from your bat, clean your bat, oil your bat and then put new tape on your bat. Excited? So am I. Let's go. I am Snehal Pradhan. Snehal Pradhan. Snehal Pradhan. I am Snehal Pradhan. And this is where I share my experience of playing international cricket with you. Welcome to Cricket How To. So this is my old bat which we are going to fit a tape on today. But before that, we have to get rid of the old tape, clean it, oil it and then fit the new tape. If you have got a new bat and you just want to go straight to the part where we put the tape, skip ahead. Let's get started. Peel off as much of the old tape as you can with your hands. To get the rest of it off, we are going to be using paint thinner or turpentine. Take some old tissue paper or a rag, dip a little bit of turpentine in it and rub along the old tape. You can see the tape slowly dissolving. This might take some time, so keep at it. This is something that you can get pretty easily in any hardware shop and it doesn't cost a lot. Don't be worried about getting your back wet because paint thinner evaporates almost instantly. As you can see, the tape is coming off slowly slowly. Mind you, this does take a lot of hard work. After about 15 to 20 minutes of rubbing this back, this old tape, really really old tape is starting to come off. After about a half an hour's good hard work, this bat's old tape is pretty much out but because it's a very old tape and a pretty old bat there is a little bit of there are marks of the tape still on the bat those will come off in the next step which is cleaning using sandpaper that means more hard work to clean the bat we're going to be using not a very rough sandpaper this is 220 and this is 150 those are the only two grains you should be using on an english willow bat you shouldn't go any rougher than that. Remember to always move the sandpaper in the direction of the grain, not like that. Along with the blade, make sure you smoothen out the edges as well because that's where our new tape will stick. Now this bat is cleaned and ready for oiling. You can still see the marks from the old tape but you can't feel them. The blade has gone completely smooth as have the edges. Nowadays you don't need to put oil on your bat because most bats come with a protective coating that keeps the moisture in. But since we've just used sandpaper on this bat, we've removed that protective coating. So we'll add a little bit of linseed oil which is what you should use to help retain the moisture of the bat. Now you can apply the oil in many ways. You can either use cotton or a tissue paper to just take a little bit of oil and rub it on top of the pack. Remember, just a little bit. But I prefer to use my hands. A little bit of hands-on tender love and care for the pack. You just need a little more than a drop. And you can rub it nicely along the face. You can see that the color is darkening just a little bit even with just this much of oil. So don't use too much, one or two drops is all you need. Now leave the bat in this position for at least a few hours so that whatever oil we've applied to the blade seeps down into the bat. Once it's done, we'll put a tape on it. 